Hello, I'm Annabelle. Hello there, my name's Rob and we work at Confection Perfection. Today we're going to show you a range of ideas on how to bake and decorate cakes. Okay, today we're going to be making almond pound cake. Our ingredients are 150 grams of soft butter, 150 grams of caster sugar, 150 grams of self-raising flour, two eggs, 40 grams, of, 40 grams of ground almonds, 100 millilitres of milk and a few drops of almond essence. Firstly, in our bowl, we're going to put our soft butter and our caster sugar. And then we're going to put it on the machine on a slow speed with our K-beater. Then when that's started to mix, we're going to add our eggs one at a time. Now whilst the eggs are incorporating, I'm going to sift the flour. And I always like to sift my flour using a drum sieve onto a bit large piece of greaseproof paper. It just stops any mess and also it's easy to put the flour into the bowl afterwards. And when that's sifted, we can put our ground almonds on the top and add our second egg and also we can add a couple of drops of almond essence just be careful not to add too much, it's very strong now that's all mixed together make sure you scrape off all your mix from the, big, uh, the K beater and then we're going to fold through self-raising flour and ground almonds nice and easy to pour straight into the bowl without any mess and then fold through the flour into the egg butter and sugar mixture in large movement scraping around the edge of the bowl cutting through the mix and then when that's incorporated start adding the milk a little bit at a time probably in about four stages. I'm just adding a little bit of milk at a time, just so it incorporates into the batter much easier. If you were to put it all in at once, you would just find that the milk and batter would just slop around everywhere and it would actually end up taking longer. Now in terms of your cases or what you want to actually cook um, your almond pound cake in, you can use a lined 5 inch tin or maybe even some cupcake cases, but I've chosen to use these little individual panettone cases. I'm going to put my cake batter into a piping bag. You, like I say, um, you can spoon it in if you want or even use an ice cream scoop, but I like to use a piping bag just for ease of use. Push all your cake mix down, snip off the end with scissors, just discard the end of the piping bag so it doesn't get in the cake mix and then pipe about two thirds of the way up into your cases. Actually I can get one more. Now I'm going to decorate with a whole almond on each. And sprinkle with a little caster sugar. And they can go in the oven at 160 degrees for 25 minutes. 
you know when they're cooked because they'll be firm and springy to the touch and also a cocktail stick or a knife will come out clean when inserted. Okay, now that the almond pound cakes have cooled down, we can give them a little dusting with icing sugar. Just pop them on a nice cake stand. Perfect for an afternoon tea. And that's how you make almond pound cake.